Log launcher activates both invis towers early. Dude, what's up with everybody in this match rocking these weird, toxic, legend style double invis tower bases? Is that really the new meta? Ladies and gentlefish, with the next matchup today in the Blunt Cup, stands for Birds of Thunder. We got early attacks taking on Boom Academy. And I hope this is going to be a fun one. Both these teams are actually really good. So let's see. Early attacks are currently ranked, I think, like number four or five on the ELO ranking system that we have for all Clash of Clans pro teams. Boom Academy are not far behind. I think they're also in the top ten. So here we go. Queen, charge, Lalo from Achilles OP for early attacks. Sure. We got the Frozen Arrow. King with Gauntlet already deployed on the bottom side of the base. Warden with a Healing Tome on Queen Charge Lalo. I like it. That's also what I use. Hog Puppet, Haste Vial for the champion to use later. Nice little ringy, toxic legends base. Cool. King might pull that poison tower early. He does indeed. Queen gonna shoot some stuff over the walls. Which way is she gonna walk though? She's gonna get the warden statue and then go around to the right. King's trying to bust open a wall for her, and here we go with the Lala. Used a flame flinger on the left side of the base, so we got no blimp for the town hall. He's just gonna hope Queen picks a good wall to beat through. She might. But the Lalo is kind of early, so I wonder if the Giga Inferno is going to end up hitting a lot of balloons. Why is Queen beating on a wall there before going for the scatter? Did anybody else see that? What the? Huh? We popped the Warden ability. Now the Queen's going for the Town Hall. Freeze upon the Poison Tower. For a champion. Queen. Going to have to tag team the King. Ooh, we lose all the balloons. It's up to the Royal Champion. If the Healers could switch to the Royal Champion, that'd actually be pretty good. Super Hog Riders out of the Flame Flinger. Oh, he's going to get it. Row champion. Equipment, two OP. That's three star all day long. The queen beating on that wall early. Was she chasing the king? She had to have been. Something like that. Otherwise, she wouldn't have gone for the wall before the scatter. That looked funny. But it is a three star for early attacks. But it's not a fast one at all. Two minutes and 15 second triple right there. Sup meow with the first attack for Boom Academy. He's got a Hound, he's got a Battle Blimp, he's got a Freeze spill. Is he going with the Blizz, bro? You're about to see a good old-fashioned Blizz? With a clone? Yo, what the? Clone, Super Wiz, Blizz, Tornado Trap spinning, but he's still gonna get the Town Hall, the Poison Tower, even more value after that. Never mind, because they all hit a giant bomb and went poof. <laughs> Later, Super Wizards. At least he got the Town Hall and both Poison Towers, actually. King, Queen, in on the upper side of the base, Giant on the right. With another wall breaker. All right. All right. Sure. Lalo coming in from the bottom side with the royal champion, with the early warden ability. We got the life gem. We got the old classic stuff on the champion. Haste our way through that that scatter shot on the bottom left. A couple extra balloons on the nine o'clock side of the base. Red bombs hit the balloons. Uh oh. He does have the life gem though. So they have extra HP, but no healing tome. Means none of them are getting healed back up. Queen did not get through that other scatter shot. No healer puppet to help her out. We do have a poison spell, and that's it. Can the royal champion carry through the rest of the attack? I don't know. There's a lot of stuff left. If she had the new equipments, I'd say sure, but she has the old equipments. Pop her ability. Spirit Fox still helping out a ton. But is looking a little round. She send a headhunter two of them but down goes the champion man is the warden the owl the balloons enough is the warden oh warden takes a seeking air mine to the face if the warden stayed alive there this actually might have worked instead it's falling apart baby dragon and owl still a lot baby dragon not alive bro these traps oh my gosh it's so close, but it's going to be a defense. And another skeleton trap. 97% man. Oof, nice try. But Boom Academy start this match off with a fail. Hiroya with a whole lot of root riders. No overgrowth spell for the core here. We got a log launcher activated. We'll see if he sticks with that. Could be good for activating both these invis towers early. Root Rider spam from the bottom right. Here we go. <clears throat> Here we go. Queen with the unicorn and a frozen arrow. King, of course, with the rage of island, giant gauntlet, healing tome, and both new stuff on the champion. 
log launcher making its way inside. Sure. First invis tower goes off early. Second invis tower goes off. Skeleton spell champion from the nine o'clock side of the base. He's going to try to get everybody to cut inside at some point. Queen on the right side, even with the skeleton spell, she's getting kind of wrecked by some cannons. Yetis come out of the log launcher. They should be able to take out at least one ricochet cannon. It looks like that's about it. CC troops going to come out. This is going to get a little spicy. Aggressive rage. Get these root riders through the wall. Pop the war in ability. King walking up and around. No, that's actually not good. But he does have a second rage and some free spells he can use in the core. That part is looking good. The invis tower was almost about to recover. So good thing he froze it. And he does it again. Champion going to the core while King with a giant gauntlet goes around the top side. Take out the monolith and everything else over there. Freeze again on the back side of the base. We still got a bunch of spells left over. Still got a lot of root riders alive. Just keep on freezing. It's like he's got infinite freezes, man. Just keep freezing. Just keep freezing. Pop that RC ability. Got two invis spells if he wants to use them, but he doesn't need them at all. Can swag them. Can save them for Legends attacks later. GG's to Missy Iroya. The crushing root rider attack on this one. RC gets caught by the tornado trap. Spins her around in circles. But it does not matter. Because it's crushed. GG's. Early attacks are two for two. Boom Academy with the next attack. What do we got? What do we got? More root rider spam. Let's go. Which is on the left. Siege barracks on the bottom. A lot of whole lot of root riders. Queen gets targeted early by a bunch of defenses. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She might have to pop ability. Plus we can get through that expo ASAP. Let's do it. Nice. No. Oh, we do have an overgrowth. Overgrowth on the backside. Ooh. Spicy. Pop the warden ability. Overgrowth gonna let us skip the town hall and a bunch of stuff behind it. Root riders gonna split into two different groups. One going to the right with the kings. The double pack up. The queen helping out. One group goes to the left with the royal champion. We're gonna rage them up over there. Royal champion's gonna have to pop ability here. She got the hog puppet. She got the seeking shield with the hog puppet. Okay. King ends up doing the disco dance and the tornado trap right on top of the town hall. We freeze. We can still pop his ability. That core should be absolutely demolished with the giant gauntlet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bro, champion. Trying to get through the back end. She might die to an archer tower, but it doesn't matter, bro. This base is crushed. This base is crushed. Nice root rider spam nerf supercell. Those root riders got nerfed real good, I think. It's not like he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven root riders still alive at the end of the attack. Huh? Early attacks with more root riders. Who would have guessed? We got a log launcher to counter these invis towers. Pop that warren ability. Nice and early. Queen on the bomb side of the base. We had a, a rage gem. A rage gem? No healing tome? Interesting choice. Let's see if it uh, if it pays off for him. Healer puppet, giant gauntlet, old school stuff on the champion. We already sent her from the right side of the base. Rage and freeze moving into the core. All right. Tornado trap spinning. Yeti's coming out. Apprentice warden getting targeted. He goes down for the count. I don't know if that rage gym worked out for him. I don't know if that rage gym worked out for him. Uh. Seeking shield goes the other way. <gasps> no. I'm being dramatic. He gets it. Whew. Does this fail, though? That RC is going to die. He sends a skeleton spell and super barbs on the top side. I don't even know if they finish off the monolith or not. Yeah, he's got a lot of super barbs up there. They should. Pops a queen ability for the healer puppet. She's going to end up having to beat through a wall, though. King ability with giant gauntlets. Going to have to save the day. This got really close. But I think giant gauntlet saves the day. There it is. Giant Gauntlet, Rage Vile, Combo, Wombo. Should be able to get him through the walls relatively quickly. How many swipes? Five swings to get through the wall. And now Queen can reach both buildings. Okay. Okay. Don't freak out. All right. It's a three star. It was just a little sketchy in the core. But GG's on this one. GG in with the next attack for Boom Academy. We got some zaps. We got some quakes. What did he get? An Inferno Tower, a Rage Tower, and an Xbox. Queen on the left side of the base. With the classic equipments. Yo, what the? 
what the? He's got a giant gauntlet classic on the warden. Both the new stuff on the champion. King and a log launcher combo. Let's go. <clears throat> Queen takes the wizard tower. King goes inside. Log launcher is actually flinging the defensive archers to the shadow realm. That looks pretty cool. Queen versus queen with a headhunter. Sure. I think this homie just forgot to do his frozen arrow event. Out of the log launcher come a couple of yetis. Maybe they can clear the ricochet cannons in the core. Maybe not. Who knows? But we got the law low coming in from the top side of the base. Still got a royal champion to use. That first lava hound pulled so many red air bombs. That's good news, though. It means the balloons don't have to worry about them. That hay spell was so good. It helped one balloon get to the builder hut and die early. Woo! There's the rage going over the town hall section. Phoenix still trying to help out in the middle section. Royal champion deployed on the right side of the base. What in the double wizard tower base building is this? LOL. We pop that warren ability to get through the giga bomb, giga poison combo wombo, but a tornado trap gonna stall us down. Stall us down? Stall us down. Dude, I need to go back to English class. I think I was trying to say slow us down, but also trying to say stall us at the same time. <laughs> stall us up, but slow us down. I don't know, bro. You take your pick. Anyways, this is a three star all day long. <laughs> uh, gosh. We need to start taking some English classes while we're watching these matches, dude. Nice attack from Mr. GGN. Boom Academy get another triple. Yada is in with more root right of spam. Let's do it. Let's do it. Queen on the top side fighting the hound nice and early with the frozen arrow. King with gauntlet. Healing tome. Log launcher activates both invis towers early. Dude, what's up with everybody in this match rocking these weird, toxic, legend style double invis tower bases? Is that really the new meta? Is that the new meta now? King ability going off in the core. We're preemptively raging. Whatever troops are coming out of the log launcher, probably yetis. Oh, we have some sneaky goblins in there too. Down goes the town hall. Warden ability was used pretty late for a Root Rider attack. Still got Royal Champion. Still got five freezes and two skeletons. He could try to keep the Queen alive with some skeleton spells, with some free spells if he wanted to. Okay. He's trying to swag all these spells. What's the plan here? He probably could. Probably could swag the champion too. Queen pops ability. Frozen arrow. And ability carry her through that uh, da, 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 scatter shot. King gonna take out the enemy royal champion here. He's got a royal champion on offense that he can swag. He saw six spells left over. He didn't even need to use that freeze right there. Supercell has nerfed root, ri root riders twice. And this homie still swags six spells and a royal champion while using root riders. What? in the world is up with this game boom academy is in with their fourth attack and i believe this is way from the world championship winning team of nova back in 2019 the first ever clash of clans world championship how about that how about that we got some 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 root riders cooked up who would have guessed who would have guessed king warden root riders on the left side of the base queen on the upper side of the base with a healing puppet Healing Tome, Giant Gauntlet, and a Hog Rider Puppet. Coolio, Root Rider spamming through the top left side of the base. Poison Tower slowing us down. Rage Spell, Warden Ability, Triple Ice Golem CC. Nice, nice, nice. He did Zap Quake some buildings on the left side of the Town Hall that I completely missed, but I'm going to pretend like I know what he zapped. I think he zapped an Eagle. Interesting. Super Hogs came out of that Siege Barracks on the left side of the base. They got a little bit of value, but ended up dying in the Tesla farm. Slowly making his way through the Town Hall. And he's only got one free spell left. This is actually looking a little wonky. Because the Giga Bomb and Giga Poison are going to do a lot of damage here. To so many units. He just lost the Apprentice Warden. Every single Root Rider just got smacked by the Giga Bomb and the Giga Poison. He's going to lose them all. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know if the heroes can carry him through the rest of the base here. They're all low on HP as well. Queen goes to ability. <laughs> Healer puppet in the core gets literally zero value thanks to all those traps. RC with the hog puppet and the haste vial. She's got the best chance at making this work. 
She's so fast with that haste vial. Gets through the multi archer tower like it's nothing. Hog Rider's gonna start getting out in front. Queen with the unicorn still getting through another building. Okay, also distracting the archer tower. This might actually work. Royal Champion Equipment about to save the day for him. Royal Champion Equipment. Literally save him. The unicorn gonna switch over to the RC and start healing her up too. <laughs> unicorn OP. Let's go. That's a three star, man. Jeez. That was wonky, but a triple is a triple. Mr. Way gets it done for Boom Academy. They're still alive in this match. All they need is one stinking defense. Their only fail was a 97. Riga Torres with two lightning spells for an air sweeper. All right. What do we got? E dragons cooked up. Nice. Nice. Stone slammer on the left side of the base with a baby dragon in behind. E Durgans. Let's do it. Let's do it. We got a life, life gem for E drags. I feel like that's such a waste because the life gem actually doesn't give them that much HP boost because it caps at like 500 or something. I feel like healing tome is a million times better, but oh well. We got a healing puppet. Classic stuff on the champion. Here we go. Rage. Might need a freeze on the single. Target in front of tower with the town hall. That'll work. Queen still doing okay. We have not deployed the king or the royal champion. Got a couple free spells left over. Down goes the town hall for that first star. 50% gives us the second star. Here we go with the royal champion. The spirit fox combo from the top side of the base. Nice troll Tesla at 12 o'clock. One super barb could take that out if he's paying attention to it. Drop the king and the frosty on the right side. Does drop a super barb at 12 o'clock. Nicely done. Ooh, two freezes left. Where does he use them? Early for the Ricochet Cannon, single target Inferno Tower combo. Hits the enemy air hero as well. Air targeting hero, that's what I mean by that. I think it's the Royal Champion versus Royal Champion now. Offensive Royal Champion wins that battle. RC on offense. Can pop her ability, but we don't even need it. This base is crushed. Early attacks get the perfect war. And they're going to win this match in the bot cup. GG's beautiful attacks from them here today. Nice. Boom Academy, final attack of the match. More Root Rider spam. Let's see it. Couple rocket balloons. Do they get that air defense? Oh, yes, they do. Oh, yes, they do. We got Root Riders. We got Valkyries. Two overgrowth spells on this one. All right, all right, all right. Siege Barracks, double P.E.K.K.A. setup from the bottom side of the base. Archer Queen on the left with a frozen arrow. Healing Dome. Classic stuff on the champion. Here we go with a Root Rider spam from the left. Let's do it. Let's do it. Expo locking on. We're being patient with the Warren ability here. Not popping it right away. We ain't going to make our way to the town. Hello, Overgrowth. That's just the first one. He brought two of them. Warren ability. Rage spell. Ice Golem's coming out on defense. Queen should still be able to go get the town. Oh. There's another freeze on the right. Wizards from the Siege Barracks actually coming in clutch. They go inside and snipe the Barbarian King. That's kind of cool. Queen. Does she go inside? Yes, she does. We can pop her ability for the Town Hall. There's the second overgrowth. Place slightly differently. Okay. All right. We still have a healing spell. And we drop it on the right side for that big group of Root Riders. The Royal Champion, the Grand Warden, some extra Valkyries coming on out. Were they in the Siege Barracks? I think they might have been. Freeze the expo on the left, or I think that was just the ice golem freeze. Queen's still alive. Root Riders moving through the top side of the base. Now we're going to have to go back and get the overgrowth defenses. He's got so many units alive, dude. The overgrowth spell works so well with this army. It's kind of nuts. It's kind of nuts. This is crushed, right? We got the king, giant gauntlet abilities, seeking shield, just hit a few defenses. Boom, boom, boom. It's another three star. The only fail in this match was a 97%. The The first attack from Boom Academy, bro. Rip that one. Rip that one. But a good old 14 star performance here from Boom, boom Academy. Not enough to win the match, unfortunately. Going to be a big old W for early attacks. 15 stars to 14. GG.